Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Crash 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Tap run for extra speed at the cost of control. And welcome to the first vehicle level, riding a polar bear. Uh, and I've already failed. Because I missed a crate and immediately I... I just can't allow that. Uh. Come on! I, I love just barely grazing past. These are the first three crates in the level. I have to do a whole level of this, haha. <laughs> and uh, no I will not be tapping run for a little bit of extra speed, thank you game. I know you offered me the potential, but uh, something in my soul just tells me it's not a very good idea. What do you mean it's possible to be too far right to, you know, wh when it comes to that frickin' uh, 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 one crate in particular? What? As if I was able to move left fast enough to walk myself into that nitro. Excuse you? I barely tapped right because I expected the ice physics to send me further left. But you know what? I should have just trusted the middle. I missed a crate. Had to... had to take the death. Please tell me I can do this in five more attempts. Uh, six, technically, because, you know, uh, the zero life counts in Crash. Love it when the zero life Crash, uh, counts. What? That's such an awkward jump. Trust the automatic pathing after moving myself middle. Come on, the, the fact you have to jump and swerve like a frickin' Minecraft parkour map. Jump arounds are nightmarish. Why would you force me to do that? Ugh. There we go. What? How could I possibly land on the ground in a good place to avoid that? Yeah, my jump is just too far, even when I pretty lightly tapped it. Unless I just didn't tap it as lightly as I thought. You know what? This is fine. Oh, come on! My arm! My arm counted as a hitbox for the purposes of that one. How did I miss that crate? How? How? Why am I that far right if... If you automatically path with a turn based on where you're currently at, shouldn't I naturally curve in the direction of that box without having to steer into it? Sometimes there's automatic pathing, sometimes there isn't. That's what I'm learning. Great, love that.
trust the paw thing except when you really shouldn't. Bay yes. Come on! How am I missing those far left crates? There we go. No micro adjusting to the right, because micro adjustments are apparently lethal in this case. I shouldn't be surprised that micro adjustments are lethal, that's kind of the entirety of the Crash series. What? How did I manage to go left of that? Huh? And that time I didn't steer left hard enough for the actual purpose of jumping, haha. <laughs> well, isn't this fun? What a, what a whimsical situation I am in that is causing me deep emotional and physical pain. Please don't ask how I'm getting physical pain over this. Uh, I should really consult a doctor about it. I'm kidding. That was a joke. A funny meme for the... How the f fuck am I meant to do that zigzag? What? This thing barely has the reaction speed to fucking make these jumps. How am I meant to swerve that badly? I thought it might have been a case where staying in the middle of the breakables was a good option, but um, no. Staying in the middle got me basically none of that. I was already past that statue by the time I started moving left. How do I miss that crate? What? I can't land on top of a seal, even though I could definitely do that as Crash. Can't do it when he's riding a polar bear. Good to know. So it acts just as any other obstacle would, instead of how the enemy normally functions. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha 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 ha. Very funny game, I like the part where I somehow missed a box in a way that I've never done before. I really love discovering new ways to mess this up. Please, show me more. I will be ever so grateful. What? Uh, huh? Oh. How? How many times can I miss the third crate in that line? Yeah, I definitely held the jump button instead of lightly tapping it in a place that I know requires a couple of light taps. Oh look! Checkpoint, how lovely. I don't think that was there before. How am I meant to do that? How am I meant to get back left in time? Fuck off! 
Okay, I got the three boxes. Please, no more of that. Good. What do you know? The hardest part of the level was the very end of it. But it's done. I'm surprised I still have time. I expected that to take the full half hour of this episode, and I am not kidding. That was painful. Horrifically painful. Please, never make me do that again. They're, they're gonna make me do it again. It's, this is the first of these kinds of levels. I, I'm certain there's more. But Crash Crush. Oh boy. Sliding can help me avoid dangerous obstacles. Such as? What kind of dangerous obstacles are we talking about? Well, we are in another boulder chase. Excuse you? I hit the bumper like a full second and a half before I hit jump? That was weird. Fuck off. I still don't think the boulder breaking them counts as me doing it. I'm gonna take the death because I don't know. I'm just gonna assume. Just so I don't get to the end of the level and be like, why the hell don't I get a gem for this? Okay, that's on me. That time I did actually mess up the order on my slide jump. Yeah. I am just that frustrated with the game that I am flailing on the controls. Also, excuse me? My slide jump went way past that mine. Thank you, game. Excuse me? There's no boulder in this portion? At least, presumably, there isn't because I died. a convenient way back. How lovely. What? There's no way in the world a slide jump should have failed that, even if I did mess up my spin. Excuse you? You know, sometimes... I'm really not sure how I end up hitting these mines. You know, I, I, I love that on the first boulder chase level it told me that sliding would help speed me up, but every time you come to the end of your slide you start crawling, so the only real way to keep up speed is by, uh, slide jumping, but slide jumping gives me so much distance I normally end up running straight into things. So, uh... Mm. Yeah, that's, uh... That's real good advice, video game. I love it. Come on. Excuse you? I slid. The sound effect played. I'm pretty sure the animation played. 
at least for a couple of frames. How the hell did I, uh, die? Did I not delay the jump enough? Because if that's the case, that's absolute nonsense. Ugh, fine. You know, I don't need to be cramming in as many slides as I do. Like, a few are necessary to get enough speed, but a lot of the ones I have been doing aren't. Oh, come on! I clearly started a slide there. Excuse you? Slide jumping on one of the dash pads cancels the speed. Okay, great. Good to know. <sighs> At least this'll help me replenish my lives, right? bonus level with at least one extra life in the bank. Two. That's okay. I'm sure I can finish this in three. I'm sure I can finish this in five attempts. That should be no problem. What? Having a boost lead directly into an edge that I couldn't see before I got there. That's kind of scummy, Naughty Dog. Oh, that's fucking rude. A box that I have to slam in order to break? That is absolutely dreadful. Oh, come on! If I would stop landing on top of that by doing my little jumps. Well, I've just taken that death considering I uh, cancelled the. Excuse you? Over. I was holding down and did a full jump. There is no chance in hell I should have fell short of that. What? I was definitely past that electric fence before I hit jump. Wait. Those were nitro crates. Okay, nitro crates do count even if they're not broken by me. I think, because me just running into them counts. But I expect that all other instances don't. <sighs> Here we go again. With very few lives to my name. Ugh. 
At least I wasn't stuck on those this time. Oh, come on. There's no way I'm going to be able to get all four of those, is there? I mean, I can get... Oh, come on! I delayed my jump until after I went past that fence. Please don't try and tell me otherwise. What? Why am I hitting that? Mm. I heard the slide animation start. I heard the slide animation start. How? Did I not end up under that? What the? I love that I accidentally fell off an edge and there just turned out to be more to this bonus level. How would anyone discover that without being an absolute moron like I was? What? Who the hell expects, oh yeah, I'm just gonna fall into one of the infinite death pits in uh, this bonus level and hope there's a platform down there. That's nonsense. There was no way of seeing it from the above platform, I'm pretty sure. At least I didn't see it. Maybe some of the Wumpa fruit might have been visible? Even so, I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. Okay, here we go again. As if a slide jump didn't make that, even if I did it early, the whole point of a slide jump is that it, you know, goes further and higher than a regular jump. Why'd I do that? <sighs> Whatever. How am I this far ahead of it? What? What did I do differently? If anything, I messed something up when I cancelled the momentum of the triple boost. How did... Does the boulder get slower? I know this game has adaptive difficulty, giving you an uka uka, uh, uka uka, giving you an aku aku if you die too many times, adding a couple more checkpoints in. If I won because the boulder changed speeds, I'm mad. I mean, I'm generally mad at adaptive difficulty without having the option to turn it off, but... Whatever. I guess I'll do the eel deal and whatever the boss fight is in the next episode. Bye.